It's more fun in the Philippines. So I have that. I'm gonna continue using this. Because it's very experiential. So I think this is the most effective slogan ever. Once natanggal nyo yung more fun in the Philippines, someone will just get this. I don't know why I even had to change it. But of course, I know, actually. Hindi naman tayo pinanganak na kahapon lang. Parang mas gusto to sa Popeyes. Miss Chicha is waking up! ABS-CBN somehow has maintained that a stature. Tinanong ko sa kanya, may multo ba rito? Oy, mga Kuya Kuy, again, this is Kuya Mike for the Kuya Kuy List. And uh, tutuhugin na natin ang uh, mga videos na to dahil uh, we just had one about having, let's just say, Meme, if, let's just say, Meme Vice, we're talking about uh, Vice Ganda, if she would be able to get into free TV uh, here in the U.S. and would be able to get the same popularity, the same accolade, the same um, influence uh, if she was part of the United States. So, you may want to check that video there. In any case, so this time naman, eh, pag-uusapan naman natin ang marketing of the country, Philippines. Na marami ang uh, alingas-ngas ngayon. Alright, so we're gonna do away first with yung anomaly, yung financial problems uh, and uh, possible shenanigans in terms of the pagbayad uh, with the agency, uh, BBDO, ng government, ng Department of Tourism. At the moment, eh, titignan lang natin yung aspeto ng pagbebenta ng turismo, uh, ng imagery, ng branding, ng Philippines. Just letting you know that I have yan, it's more fun in the Philippines nakalagayan sa aking uh, ref it's more fun in the Philippines so I have that and I'm gonna continue using this although I also have I love the Philippines Jeep and this is by Papi Melroti Okay, so binili ko ito sa Pape Melroti site sa Red Bubble. So if you are here in the United States, you may want to check Red Bubble. Dahil maraming mga items from Pape Melroti. And I featured that in one of my vlogs, earlier vlogs, itong Pape Melroti. High school pa lang ako, kilala na yung Pape Melroti sa mga, mga knickknacks nila. And I love the design. It's very Pinoy. And then, uh, gawa to ni Robert Alejandro. No? Isa sa malimang magkakapatid na nagpapatakbo ng Pape Melroti. Kaya may Pape Melro si Robert yun. Okay, so, ang unang balita ko rito was that it got changed. Na, and right away, nang hinayang ako. I just love the slogan ng Philippines, no? Para maingganyo yung mga travelers, foreigners, or even yung mga Filipino-Americans na may lineage ng Filipino or may dugong Filipino to see the country. Kasi nga, madaling ibenta when you just say, it's fun in the Philippines. Because it's very experiential. Wala ka ng isip-isip, wala ng lalim. Basta fun ang Pilipinas. Madali na sabihin yan. Come to the Philippines, let's experience it. Madali eh. Napakadali. Kudos. I don't know if this was during uh, President Noynoy's term na kung saan nilabas itong slogan na ito. I think this is the most effective uh, slogan ever. Which is so true naman. Ang Filipino is uh, masayahin. But any case, nung una kong narinig was that because the Department of Tourism is celebrating its 50th year. So they need to change the, the slogan to love the Philippines. Ang, ang isip ko, man, Department of Tourism is selling the Philippines. It is not selling 
Department of Tourism. Department of Tourism is not selling Department of Tourism. Department of Tourism is selling the Philippines. Bakit kailangan palitan ang slogan only because nagsiselebrate ang Department of Tourism ng kanyang ika-50th year? Kasi hod ng 100 years, kasi hod ng 200 years, kasi hod ng debut pa niya. So, I don't get it. That's one. So, magastos ang pagpapalit ng slogan. You know, na, sa advertisement pa lang, sa mga collateral na binigay mo na, sa pagmamarket mo pala using the slogan na it's more fun in the Philippines, eh, papalitan mo na naman yan. Naka-imbibe na yan, nakapasok na yan sa mga posibleng pumunta sa Pilipinas or naka-imbibe na rin yan sa mga pumunta sa Pilipinas and trying to get more tourists to get into the Philippines just by saying it's more fun in the Philippines. Fun is the word. Okay? Bakit nyo pahirapan pa? Bakit nyo pahirapan pa sa love the Philippines? So gastos lang yan, to be honest about it. Gastos. You know, papalitan mong lahat. You have to introduce na naman yung brand, yung branding. And then, lahat ng collateral, lahat ng videos, no? Na actually, nandyan na supposedly. Bakit mo papalitan? Gagastos pa kayo. Bakit kayo gagastos? Hindi ba kayo hirap? Nahirapan na nga kayo to promote the Philippines. And then here you come again. Starting from the bottom again. Pahirapan niyo pa ba ang sarili niyo? Nasa kamalayan na ang It's More Fun in the Philippines. Fun is such a strong word. Parang wala pa ako nakitang ganyan na ginamit yung fun once natanggal nyo yung more fun in the Philippines someone will just get this at sa kanya na mapupunta yung fun na yun dahil ang linagay nyo is very generic love the Philippines love the Philippines man ang una ko tayo yun na yun ang corny naman it is so generic it's so trite everyone is saying na yung country nila is to be loved <coughs> Why do you have to even use a very obvious word? And at the same time, love is a deep word. Masyadong malalim yun. I can love the Philippines without necessarily experiencing the Philippines. I can ask some other people to know about the Philippines and probably they would love it. But, but, walang tulong yun, walang silbi because they really need to experience the Philippines. And next, <coughs> why are you imposing that to love the Philippines? E kung sinabi ng tao, I really don't care about the Philippines. Di talo ka na. Sabihin ko sa aking kaibigan, Hey, you need to be in the Philippines. You will love the Philippines. Hindi ba sa panliligaw, you say mo na like without necessarily being so involved emotionally, and then monetarily, <laughs> gagastos ka na agad because you want to love the Philippines. You're imposing love, actually. E paano kung hindi niya nagustuhan? Paano kung nas nasaksihan niya eh, yung traffic? Yun ang right away may isip niya. Traffic. With fun, at least masasabi niya, despite the traffic, I had fun for a newbie, for someone who just traveled to the Philippines. You start with, it's more fun, and then hopefully it really develops to a relationship to create those imagery, to create those visuals, to create those feelings with the country. But it has to start with fun. It has to start being in the Philippines. Wag mo ipipilit. And totoo lang, fun naman talaga mga Filipinos, even here in the United States. When you say mga Filipinos, masaya. Such a waste. Really waste. I don't know why I even had to change it. But of course, I know, actually. Hindi <laughs> naman tayo pinanganak na kahapon lang. 
more gastos, more kita for some of these guys. Ipapalit nyo yung more fun in the Philippines, sa love the Philippines. Natingin ko, wala naman talagang market research. Parang sinabi lang ng teacher, create a slogan no, sa elementary students. <laughs> create a slogan uh, for, for the Philippines. Even grade schoolers would create more creative, more depth paggawa ng slogan sa paghimok sa mga turista. Which should be able to create businesses, should be able to create jobs in the Philippines. So, kaya nang galing yung pag-iisip na ito? Unbelievable. And I guess, ito po si Kuya Mike uh, <laughs> of the Kuyakoy List. It's a brand's branding and shopping channel for the global Filipino. If you have the same uh, feelings uh, and thoughts as I have, eh, may want to subscribe po sa ating channel, The Kuyakoy List. At pakalala niyo po ako sa mga kamag-ana at kaibigan niyo uh, back home in the Philippines, here in the United States, and all around the world having the same thoughts. You know, it's just create a community. Why not, di ba? And we'll use this, okay, slogan, it's more fun in the Philippines. Hindi ako get over. In any case, uh, and again, ito po si Kuya Mike, ang malamang na kaisa isa at kaunaw ng affiliate marketer na Filipino-American for online stores here in the United States and uh, ang inyong kuya sa Amerika. This is for the Kuya Kuya List.